The answer is no, he is not the worst pilot ever. The guy who flew Millennium Falcon cannot be the bad pilot. However, that pilot had so many incidents and even accidents that his pilot career is worth to be reviewed. Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and today we have Harrison Ford on review. I'm recording this video my friends because just recently, last week, Harrison Ford went to one more incident with his airplane, so by making this video I want to support him and I want to let you know more about that pilot. I grown up watching Star Wars and I think same for you and I really like Han Solo character played by Harrison Ford and I think he played that role very very well. And also I don't like the recent Star Wars series that we have from Disney Pictures, it's just my personal opinion guys. What I like is Indiana Jones old series with the same actor Harrison Ford. The Indiana Jones gave the adventure spirit to my childhood and Star Wars gave the exploration spirit. So Harrison Ford himself was some part and is some part of my childhood, of my life and I wasn't aware that he is a pilot for a very long time. I think it was like this up until I watched the movie Six Days, Seven Nights with Harrison Ford playing the main role as a pilot there. So he used to fly the Beaver, uh, the, the Havilland DHC-2 Beaver aircraft, it's a piston aircraft and he played the role of a pilot so i was just wondering about that aircraft and i searched in the internet and i found out that in real life harrison ford flies the same type of the airplane so harrison ford actually piloted the beaver aircraft during the filming however insurance company introduced the strict rules for harrison to do that they say to him you need to fly 50 hours before the filming a company to be accompanied by other pilot so Harrison had flown those 50 hours before filming. 50 hours is quite a lot. If you are a weekend pilot, you fly those 50 hours for two or three months. Mr. Ford was born in 1942 and in 60s he wanted to become a pilot, but he wasn't able to finish his flight training because of his financial state, so he became an actor. And only in 1990s, in the age of around 50 years old, he realized that he wanted to finish his training and to become a pilot. By that time he was flying as a passenger on his own Gulfstream, and I think he also was able to fly that airplane. Harrison Ford flew his first solo on Cessna 206. Hans Solo flies his solo. Yeah, sounds interesting. Anyway, that solo flight went wrong. As Mr. Ford says it by himself, he had a bounce landing, so he touched the runway with his nose gear, then he bounced and he had to make a go around. His instructor was on the ground and he was very nervous, but he has nothing to do because Mr. Ford was flying alone in the airplane, solo flight. His first accident happened in 1999, not flying the airplane but helicopter, so he also was trained to be a helicopter pilot and he is a helicopter pilot as well. So by that time he was flying helicopter Bell 206 Long Ranger and they just want to attempt the auto rotation power recovery exercise but however they ditch into the lake. There were two persons on board, Harrison himself and his instructor. Both of them survived with no injuries, however helicopter sustained damage. I don't know if that helicopter is still flying, however Harrison flies Bell 407 nowadays and also it was a nice story of him rescuing the 13 year old boy in Yellowstone Park in the time of the wildfires. Mr. Ford voluntarily joined the rescue team operation which was in search of a little boy that was lost for 19 long hours in the Yellowstone Park and miraculously he was able to find him and delivered him safely by his helicopter. I bet that boy was really surprised. The other bright story about Harrison Ford and his aircraft is that he joined the SMILE operation which was taking place in Haiti after the severe earthquake and he delivered supplies and volunteers to the remote areas of Haiti. I think Harrison Ford is a very happy pilot, but not very lucky, unfortunately. So in 2015 he had his second accident and he crashed the airplane into the golf field. You crashed a plane and, and it was a... Um... 
plane crashed. I was aboard oh, yeah. the plane I and see. it crashed. But I didn't. So he was flying PT-22 airplane that was made in 1942, so the same age with Harrison. And that airplane used to be made for pilot training, for military pilot training. In that case, something went wrong with the carburetor, so it was enough fuel supply to sustain engine working and they just have the engine failure, so they glided the airplane and let it just in the field. And I would say that you need to have good pilot skills to land the airplane just on a field without any engine working. In 2017, Harrison had serious incidents. So he was attempting to land in a John Wayne airport of California, Orange County, California. So he was approaching runway 20 left, but somehow missed the runway and landed on a parallel main taxiway. And at the very same time, there was Boeing 737 of American Airlines and the holding point for runway 20 left. And Harrison just overflew directly over that Boeing 737. Of course, it was investigation for this case and Harrison admitted that he was flying wrong. After the investigation, Harrison was allowed to keep his pilot license. And he was 75 years old by that time. Now he's 78 or something. Yeah, he's very kind of old for a pilot. For a commercial pilot, you usually fly up to 65, not more, but then you can fly as private pilot what Harrison Ford does. Honestly, I wish just keep my sane mind that I'll be 78 years old. Well, Harrison flies the airplane and he is 78 years old. That's great. But Mr. Ford is not alone in that type of serious incident. One year later, the Air Canada Airbus was attempting to land in San Francisco airport. Then pilots mix up the runway and taxiway. And there were several airplanes on a taxiway waiting for the turn for takeoff. And the Airbus was descending towards them. The pilots were just unaware of runway position. It was during the night time, but anyway, there were two professionals, two professional commercial pilots in the cockpit and they confused the runway and the taxiway. Other pilots start to shout into the radio, go around, what are you doing? And luckily those Air Canada Airbus just uh, did a go around maneuver a few feet from the airplane tail. So they were very close to the most serious aviation accident, the catastrophic accident ever. And again, there were two pilots in the cockpit, two commercial pilots, professionals, who are much younger than Harrison Ford and still they mixed up the runway with a taxiway. CRM. So the last week Mr. Ford had one more incident, runway incursion. So without permission, without giving permission, he was crossing the runway while the other traffic was on the runway. Was it pilot mistake? Of course. Was it 100% of Ford's mistake? I don't think so. First, Harrison Ford was asked to hold short at hotel before runway 25. Hotel is not the hotel, uh, it's not the building, it's the name of the holding point before the runway. Maybe there's some kind of taxiway hotel there. I see now, I'll tell you, no, for hold short runway 25 at hotel. Hold short at 25 at hotel for eight, I'll tell you. And then he reached the holding point hotel and he stopped his airplane before runway 25. He called holding short at hotel. And that is exactly the standard phraseology that Mr. Ford uses to communicate with the air traffic control. And what did air traffic controller tell him? Continue holding short runway 25. Traffic on the runway. Hotel uniform, can you hold short runway 25? Traffic on the runway. The air traffic controller is definitely fast speaker, so he mumbled the words. Continue holding short. So I think it was not really understandable for Harrison Ford, especially if you sit in a piston engine driven airplane. It You have some extra sound there. It's not the jet airplane where everything is calm. So I think Harrison just misunderstood the meaning of the words, especially if he say, the air traffic controller say continue it means like usually it means continue taxi so the air traffic controller used non-standard phraseology continue holding short it's not standard he need to say hold short off the runway to five or hold short at hotel the word continue means some kind of action usually you receive this information for taxi continue taxiway alpha continue crossing the runway 25 
and I think Harrison understood the information like that. Crossing two five. Eight, nine, hotel uniform. Nine, hotel uniform. Get across that one right now. I told you to hold, hold short. You need to listen up. Uh, excuse me, sir. I thought exactly the opposite. I'm terribly sorry. What Harrison Ford might have done in a better way is he might have said, say again and confirm the air traffic controller clearance. Because if you are not 100% sure of the clearance, don't do it, especially if you are alone in an airplane. Always, if you are, have some doubts, if you have some doubts, just ask, say again your clearance, okay, I'll hold short a bit and then cross the runway. That incident now is under FAA investigation and I hope everything will be all right with uh, Mr. Ford's pilot license because even though it was runway incursion, but that incident was not so serious as it was before in 2017 with runway taxiway mixing up. What would I recommend to Mr. Harrison Ford? And of course he probably won't agree with me, but I would recommend to fly less to busy airports. You're a celebrity, so everyone will pay attention on your incidents, on your mishaps. There are a lot of aviation mishaps happening, especially in general aviation, but no one pays attention on that as much as they pay attention on you. Harrison Ford, I really like that guy, and he was able to carry his dream throughout his life. So he wasn't able to become a pilot when he was young, but later on, after a successful career in Hollywood, he decided to make his dream to come true in then he was 50 years old and it's now he's still flying and I really enjoy this guy and he's not flying only for himself he flies charity flights volunteer flights and it's great he's awesome guy I wish him a long life many years of flying experience new experience and I really enjoy that he's participating in our aviation community he is a great guy. I'm sure that he'll be alright and he'll keep his license. He'll continue to fly his Husky airplane, his Beaver airplane or whatever. And now it's time for awesome guy checklist. So if you are an awesome guy, you need to first like this video, then subscribe to our channel, then ring the bell, whatever it means. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great time.